A resolution to recognize the Black Lives Matter movement was defeated in the Rensselaer County Legislature tonight, but not before arguments were made for both sides. Emily Burkhardt's here with our top story. Emily? Jim, the resolution was defeated by a vote of 16 to 3. Three more lawmakers initially supported the resolution, but ultimately decided to have their names removed from it before voting no tonight. Please consider approving the amendment. Advocates say the resolution was meant to be a first step in addressing systemic racism in Rensselaer County. This is really about the enlightenment that we have received, you know, at this time. And through this enlightenment, we can move forward. Opponents say the resolution took aim at law enforcement, saying they target black people disproportionately. There's a message there about sticking up for people, disadvantaged people, that should have been the forefront and the focus. And instead, they choose to use hyperbolic language that distracted from that point. And that's why we took a stand like we did tonight. Advocates amended the resolution twice, the first time with changes to smaller details. But the Second Amendment, opponents say, completely changed the structure and the message of the legislation. Opponents also took issue with the fact that the resolution did not give specifics on how to address racism in the county. If he wants to talk about uh, no knock warrant reform to prevent a Brianna Taylor, let's have that conversation. If he wants to talk about how we handle petty crimes to prevent a a prison pipeline to where young men of color are constantly cycling through the prison for small infractions. Let's have that conversation. We're forgetting the most important thing is that we're asking for justice for all Americans. And that message seems to be missed here. It gets clouded with that, you know, it's attacking police, which we are not. That it didn't go through the right process, which we did. Though legislators didn't agree on much Tuesday night, both sides acknowledged that something has to be done. Many of them tonight on the floor said, yes, we agree, change has to happen. But apparently, they're not ready to step up to make that change. We have to do something. We all agree, something has to be done. Let's get together, work on a resolution that we all can support. The legislature passed a number of other resolutions tonight, including one honoring late Troy PD Detective Sergeant Randall French. French died in April after battling the coronavirus for about a month. He made headlines back in 2016 after the controversial shooting death of Edson Thevenin during a traffic stop on Hoosick Street. Jim. Thanks, Emily.